Just a few steps from the Spring House is another Block Island classic hotel and restaurant, the Atlantic Inn. The Atlantic is owned and operated by the Marthens family and their extended family of dedicated staff. It's a family operation. We started this 24 years ago. Brad was four years old when we came out here and we've been here ever since and it's just a wonderful place to live and work. It's a lovingly preserved historic inn, truly a one-of-a-kind experience that transports you back to Block Island's golden era. Uh, it was built in 1879. It's a 21 to 23 room in, depending on the time of season. And uh, for us, it was a passion. We really wanted to get involved in the innkeeping business. The restaurant was something new for us with no experience, uh, but it's turned out to be something that's a lot of fun. The Atlantic is home to a full service restaurant and bar called 1879, which they describe as eclectic American fine dining cuisine featuring artistically prepared vegetarian, seafood, and meat dishes using herbs and produce sourced right from their gardens. So this is Anne's garden. This is where we get our like eggplants and our tomatoes. Uh, there are some herbs in here, but we like to utilize all the vegetables. And um, she works really hard on this, and it's beautiful. And really, really lucky to have something like this. We have an evolving menu. We're always changing things all the time to make it fun for everyone, not only just our guests. And we want to have food that's going to complement the, the wine list that we have here. We work very hard on that over the years. Uh, our executive chef, Adi, has, has a love for wine and a passion for food. Worked in many restaurants all around New England, in uh, many parts of Rhode Island, Newport, and other areas, and now he's living on Block Island. How you doing? My name is Adi Mandel. I'm the executive chef for The Atlantic here, in here on Block Island. Today I'm going to show you our baked stuffed lobster with roasted local zucchini squash, a coconut black rice, and a crab hollandaise. So first, I'm going to take a one and a half pound lobster. We cut, split, clean it out. We take our seafood stuffing, which is made of bay scallops, baby shrimps, little mixed vegetables, some Ritz crumbs, and some whole butter. We stuff our cavity. We already have our cooked off claws and a little bit of claw knuckle meat. We take this, we pop that right in the oven. It's then served with a coconut black rice, roasted local baby, uh, zucchini, and a crab hollandaise. Fresh egg yolks, and we make a hollandaise. Whip it over the hot flame till it doubles up in size. We add some clarified butter, a little bit of lemon juice, salt, pepper, and some Tabasco, and it goes great with the lobster. So we put our black rice in the pan, a little bit of coconut milk. Let that coconut milk infuse in there a little bit more. We cooked the black rice with coconut milk, but this is just another added level of flavor. Helps warm it up. Instead of using a stock or anything like that to drown out the coconut milk. So we get that nice and warm. While that's warming up, we can saute off our squash. We always want to taste. Perfect. That's delicious. But tasting your food is always the most important thing you do. We teach this in this kitchen every day throughout the day. Uh, most of our staff here is all first year, second year culinary students. Uh, little, very little experience, if none in the real world, in a real kitchen. So every student has a big container of tasting spoons. Between me and my two sous chefs, we go throughout the kitchen to make sure they're tasting their foods, make sure they're properly seasoned, properly cooked, fresh, ready, ready to go every day. Lobster's ready to go. Take our coconut rice. Take our vegetables, kind of scattered throughout. Baked stuffed lobster, give them a nice bed to sleep on. Our claws, and then our holidays, crab holidays. This is a gorgeous dish. Look at that rice. The color of the rice with the lobster. 
local squash. Mmm. Next, we join talented young sous chef Denny Gomes in the kitchen for a preparation of his Thai curry mussels. Today I'll be making the green curry mussels on the Atlantic and menu. So the mussels get uh, some galangal, some garlic, uh, bell peppers and red onions. Got a good uh, sauce. Add the mussels. Everybody's favorite part, brandy. So we keep cooking until the fire is gone. We turn out all the alcohol and curry sauce. Curry sauce has curry paste, of course, coconut milk, galangal, um, lemongrass, garlic, basil, a lot, of, a lot of aromatics. It's really nice on the palate. Now once all the mussels are open, as you can see, finish with a little bit of salt and pepper. Taste. Very good. And then to the plate. Ginger oil. We just finish it with some sourdough. And that's it. That is the Atlantic and mussels. Beautiful green curry sauce. Mmm. You can taste the lemongrass, the galangal. Light, but they match the sweetness of the mussels. Phenomenal. This is such a neat place. It's got that old fashioned charm, antiques everywhere, but the menu is very current. They try to get sources as many local vegetables as they can and get a lot of fresh fish. We're on Block Island. They're known for their great fishing here. And they just, they take a lot of pride. The Atlantic offers beautifully creative hot and cold tapas outside on the patio and lawn, where you can enjoy their Wine Spectator award-winning wine list and catch live jazz every Wednesday and Sunday nights while enjoying one of the best sunset views in town. <laughs>